Let's talk about the U.S. Open. Uh, Tiger Woods, is he done? Let me get right to it. Mark Kisler. I think he's been done. done. I think he's been done. I think since since he ran into the fire hydrant, he's... Maybe if he played right-handed. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that is not a good swing when you've got the back of the club and you're not holding it right and you're bending your elbow. I know enough about the game. Even though you gave it up, you know that's not a good swing what, by a right-handed. No, that look on Tiger's face is why I gave up the game. And, I mean, it, why would I want... To spoil my good walk, to to, to 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 take or that you and Mark Twain. Yeah, um, I have I have as good a game, and my hairline is not very good, but it's as good as Tiger's. And, um, I tweeted this last night, and you know I I have all kinds of sage advice on Twitter, as as my followers well know. I am serious about this. Tiger Woods should put the clubs in the garage. Um, Travel the world for the rest of 2015 and not pick up a club again until 2016. Let the back heal. Now you can do rehab work in Italy or China or Thailand or wherever you want to travel to. Uh, this is not doing him any good. And I've heard some commentators say, well, I'd rather watch uh, Wood shoot 85 than Jordan Spieth shoot 65. I'm like, yeah, and that's the same person that says I want to go to the NASCAR races for the Rex. I mean, he's he's long gone. It's more than the back and the swing changes. It's it's his head's all messed up. It's his messed up and his body's messed up. Look at that body there of Tiger Woods. Does that look like the Tiger Woods of the tw of his twenties, and even of his early thirties? No, he, he, well, he's, he's right at 40, right? And for the first time, he's starting to look, and you and I both know it, he's starting to look like his best years are behind him. He, he looks old there. And, it, and the game, the, golf is a game that can wear you out mentally, and he looks spent to me. Let me go a little deeper into that. There are a lot of theories about why he's had back problems. He's had knee surgeries. He has had shoulder and arm problems. Why do you think he's, he, early in his career, he didn't have injuries? Why do you think? Are you willing to speculate what might have happened? I, Because I, I, there are theories out there. No, no, theories are out there, and, and I'm not afraid to state the theories. I'm not ready to wrap my arms around the theory because it's a, it's a, it's a theory that goes right to the heart of Tiger Woods' integrity. The theory is is that he did performance enhancing drugs, and one uh, the drugs always win in the end. The drugs can win uh, uh, on a football field. The drugs can win on a in a baseball diamond. The drugs, I think, could win on the golf course, but. If you take PEDs over a long length of time, one uh, result can be that your joints and your body breaks down prematurely. So that theory is out there. I don't well, know don't whether they, it's correct or not. Don't, didn't the PGA start testing for performance enhancing drugs? They do. D d d well, has Barry Bonds actually ever been caught? Yeah. No. Other, I mean, okay. if you're, I think, you know, and a, and a high-level NFL player told me this once. Um, whether you're doing PEDs or you're doing marijuana, you only get caught if you're really stupid. So um, I don't think Tiger Woods is stupid. I'm not saying he took PEDs, but I don't. I think he was stupid with his smartphone. But but other than that, I think he's a pretty smart guy. And and we should be straight about this. We we can't sit here and out and accuse him. You could no. I, you could I have us, no idea whether get, he took. But PD. but there have been stories about that. There have been there's been speculation. There have been former players right who brought it up. Tiger was affiliated with a Canadian doctor who was involved in what a Rod ended up being suspended for a full season for that same doctor i forgot a guy who claimed to be a doctor right 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 there, i think he could write prescriptions <laughs> yeah and uh, he was associated with him that he was brought in the came in the united states and treated him for various and sundry injuries so there's enough swirling speculation that his body's breaking down either and i would say this jack nicholas has had a hip replacement 
his body broke down. He had back problems. I'm not accusing him of steroids. The other reason is when you have that much torque, when you put that much stress on a body, as they've done since he was three. And Jack, violent, uh, Tiger had a very violent swing for much of his career. So that could be another possibility that it just affected so many different parts of, of his body because you have so many working parts. You did play golf. There's so many working parts that you have. My, that's why I don't play golf anymore because there are a lot of working parts and most of mine never work. Yeah, worked. but you ski. That has a lot of working <laughs> parts. This segment's brought to you by the Harmony Foundation, Colorado's premier treatment program for drug and alcohol addiction. And I've got really involved with them over the last five, six months that we have had them as a sponsor. And I've talked to people from up there. I have investigated, investigated is the wrong word. I've done a lot of research on how successful they've been. And I said yesterday, their patients have been surveyed and 71% of them have, after a year and a half or two years, managed to refrain from alcohol or drugs, whatever they were addicted to. The national average of centers like Harmony Foundation is 50%. They are doing a great job. And I, I thought what was interesting when I met with the executives up there, how much they talked about they don't care where you go. Go somewhere. That's what they said to me. Harmony Foundation is one of your choices. It's worth you researching and investigating. It's located just outside of Est Park on a private 45-acre mountain campus. And I think this is important. It's insurance friendly, meaning that you don't have to like take on the entire brunt of trying to get your problem solved. You can go to HarmonyFoundationInc.com and find out a lot more information.